Mega is a leading manufacturer of equipment to produce printed circuit boards. All the equipment is manufactured at our factory in Linton, Cambridge, England. We have been supplying high quality, cost effective equipment and materials for producing prototype and small production runs of single, double, plated through hole and multi-layer boards for over 30 years. If you need to make a regular production run or just a one-off PCB, we can offer you an affordable, complete manufacturing solution that will ensure that you can make a perfect PCB each and every time. Most of our customers use photo board or micro track, which are copper clad board materials coated with a 5 micron positive working photoresist. In our experience, many people using photo board have themselves experienced problems which have caused boards not to be etched properly. The main reasons for this have been either poor artwork films or not developing the image properly after exposing the photoresist to ultraviolet light through the required artwork. To ensure good results every time, the following steps need to be taken. Your design, generated from your CAD package or downloaded as a JPEG, must be printed onto either clear or translucent film using either an inkjet printer or a laser printer. This is best achieved using our Jetstar Premium Inkjet Film or our LaserStar Laser Film. The requirement is to produce a dense black artwork that does not allow any ultraviolet light to pass through it. This enables the board to be exposed long enough to ensure that the photoresist has been polymerized all the way through so that it develops properly. You should also print your artwork mirror image or back to front. This means that when the artwork is turned the right way round, the ink or toner is on the underside of the artwork film. The ink or toner will therefore be in direct contact with the resist of the photo board which helps prevent undercutting or thinning of the tracks and pads during UV exposure. To achieve good quality artworks using our films ensure that you do the following. Set the print quality to maximum DPI or best photo. Set it to print black only. Set the paper to either photo quality inkjet or matte. If there are brightness and contrast settings, set these to maximum. Also, if it has edge smoothing, turn this on. Set the print quality to 600 dpi minimum. If using a color laser printer, set colors to black. If it allows, set output graphics to dark. Before exposing the resist, switch on the ultraviolet exposure unit for four or five minutes to ensure that the tubes are warmed up. When warm, ultraviolet tubes give out 50% more light than when cold. Place the artwork in the centre of the glass area with the ink or toner side facing upwards. Remove the protective black film from the photo board or micro track and if necessary deburr any sharp edges with a file or deburring tool. Then carefully wipe any particles off the photoresist surface with a soft tissue. Now place the board resist side down on the artwork. Close the exposure unit lid.
set your timer to three and a half minutes for a small ultraviolet unit or two to two and a half minutes for a larger ultraviolet unit and turn on the tubes. Please note, if you use any other coated boards, longer exposure times may be needed. When exposed, remove the board, which will now show a faint yellowish pattern of your artwork. Having printed out your top and bottom films, making sure that one side was printed as a mirror image, cut the bottom film so that it is larger than the design, at least 50 millimeters in the length and 25 millimeters in the width, with the image being centrally located. Again, with the design centrally located, cut the top film approximately 12 millimeters wider and 40 millimeters longer than the image. Lay the bottom film with the ink, that is the emulsion side, facing upwards and then place the top film, ink side downwards, over the bottom film. Move the top film until you have aligned all the printed holes. And while pressing down on the films firmly to ensure they cannot move, tape one short end of the top film to the bottom film. Then, making sure the films are still aligned, tape the other short ends together. Remove the black film from both sides of the piece of double-sided board, making sure the board is about 12mm longer than your design and 4mm wider than the width of the top film. Deburr the board as you would for a single-sided board. Slide the board between the two films, taking care not to scratch the artworks so that it is centred in both directions and then tape the top film on both long sides to the board. Place the board and film in the ultraviolet exposure unit with the bottom artwork on the glass and then expose as normal. After exposure has finished, flip the board over and expose the top side. Remove the board and film from the UV unit. Remove the tape holding the board to the top film. Carefully remove the board from between the films, ensuring that you do not scratch the emulsion, and develop the board.